Such a little horse, man. But so expensive. Alright, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Tetra Ninja, and we are once again back playing some Red Dead Redemption. We are still in the town of Saint Denis, or the city of Saint Denis, just wrapping up a lot of quest lines. We re acquainted ourselves with our old flame, Mary, in the last episode, and now we are gonna wrap up this electrocution mission that we started a very long time ago, so we're gonna get some closure. Took a bath, had a shower, shaved, got a haircut, went with a fade this time, so it'll cut the time in between haircuts a little bit more. I'm kind of flat broke at this moment, so that might be a problem. I tried going to the fence, but it wasn't Welcome open. So we shall see how this, this goes. Excellent... You're going to be in a better place. Stay calm. Breathe deep and repent. Or you will be moved to a better realm. Ladies and gentlemen. Behold the calm removal of this man's existence! <laughs> In incredible! He's nearly dead! So humane! Ah! troubled but his passing is peaceful kill him already somebody shoot me please oh. Get up. You don't seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. No, no. Oh, what the hell? Darn it. Why would I want this? Wow, that was poor. That was so twisted. Now I had the blueprint, I can make my own electric chair. What's up? All right, now we got to continue on with the horny French man. I tried to get some money by going to the fence, but he wasn't open. So we're still broke as a joke here. Yeah, it looks like he's upstairs. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. It's a free show, so don't come asking for I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. I think oh, that's Far too modern for my taste. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatonet. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent. Alive, like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. The nerve on you. That's it. <laughs> oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, hey. I am a bitch. You oh, filthy little man. Oh. <laughs> oh. Come on, horse. We'll leave hey. it. I'm 
coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. Wow. Nice punch, dude. Punch him in the kidneys. Nice hook. looking none of these guys have anything on them that's a freaking lie Scars for the road. Keep it moving. This way, this way, come on. I think we are okay. The exhibition, what can you say? It was not boring. <laughs> that it was not. To test people, push them. I thought I was a fraud, a no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? If you keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases left punch holes through. I told you I was a whole ass. <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, it seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh. <laughs> okay, next we go to BD, which was that monk guy. Wrap it up. Wake up there. Hey, I'm open. Hop the wall, drop down, drop down. Kid a kid on the ground. All right, this is the guy that we had the slaves problems. Hey, Mister, Sister, my friend, Mister Morgan. Oh, sir, Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. No offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids that'll work. Don't hurt him, please. He just sent the cathedral this morning. Oh no, my father gave me that when I was a kid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You little bastards! Oh. You alright? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Hey, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way. Thank you. Thank you. Ungrateful child. Get off me! Where's my watch, you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last time. Hey, you. Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. Little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. Oh, pick up the crucifix. Hey, you want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. 
blood. I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Ha, now. I mean, uh, hey, help. Uh, help. Hold on. This man is bothering now. me. Someone help me. Officer, help. Wow. What a bitch. Narc on me. I didn't even do anything. Wanted dead or alive. or something old teacher turned prostitute <laughs> damn fall from grace Poe everywhere. Oh, come on, there's a cop right there. How? Hello. Ah, it's you. Travels have brought you back my way, have they? Remember, read the label. Get there. Damn police officers right there. Every day, it's a new challenge, Father. When I was younger, those challenge. Mr. Morgan! Excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't! Oh, I did. I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is... greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but... my mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Am I still wanted? Nope. Beautiful. Okay. Hey, come on, watch it. We need to make some money. That's what we need to do. Alright, I think that's finally everything in this town. Literally did everything. We got a bounty on her. Oh my god, we got a bounty. Okay, we are gonna go back. Please don't make me run over you. Okay, let's go pay off our bounty. Why does my horse's head whip so far? We go elastic neck. Pay off this bounty and head back to the shady bell so and we continue the main mission that's it wasn't too bad Excuse me. 15 what the f oh. what's the matter with you I'm at the wrong building what are the camino barge in boys Be with you momentarily. Nothing like a fresh start. Hello, how can I help? It's literally all my money. I Thanks, heard Mr. that that old lady up the way will swindle yet again by some two big things. 
I don't think I can afford. I can't. I can't even afford to take a carriage. I got the ride there. Ugh. Oh well. Yep. All right, Hosea. Okay, finally back here. Oh, Mr. Morgan, I had your stuff unloaded. Thank you. I put you in one of the upstairs bedrooms. I thought that would be a little nicer for you. I mean, the place is a dump, but we can survive here. Yes, it's, uh, it's great if you love alligators and mosquitoes. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, it's left at the top of the stairs and head on to the end of the landing. Thank you. Trick is... I've already been there, lady, like 20 times now. All right, let's go. Jose? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a... <laughs> we are ridiculous, <laughs> utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I'm sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Put some pomade in that mustache, man. This way, please, gentlemen. A senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Yeah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli? As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know. Uh, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Good thing I got a haircut. A respectable man's haircut. Shaved and everything. To bust out that straight edge. Dutch even wore white gloves. That's when you know you're at a fancy place when you have to wear white gloves. We're gonna address the audience. <laughs> ah, the angry cowboys, you've arrived. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war, and a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. 
I'm a young mistress. That's the natural order of things. Yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that. That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Well, I'm not taking it. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Oh, it wasn't that room. Arthur kind of looks like BJ Blaskowitz with this haircut. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go and gracious. Find the mayor if you can, and stay out of trouble, and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course, Jose, you go find us some place to run. We'll make us a new friend. The mayor was old looking. Mary Ellen, you? If that's French culture for you, sign me up for French lessons. Yeah, I saw that. That said Mario Lemieux. What? Gentlemen, I hope you're having a fine evening. Ah, uh, Mr. Mayor, wonderful to see you again. <laughs> Lemieux, this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskin. I did no such thing. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me, cool <laughs> off? Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? 
Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, 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 oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Who's setting those off? Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in outside in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Pretty easy to follow the guy with the big white trench coat. Let's not get too close now. Keep our distance like a good assassin. So many people to deal with. We have no problems. Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terrible. We still haven't dealt with the Driscolls, Leviticus Cornwall. Not much closure going on here. The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate chip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. <sighs> My God. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. <coughs> Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. It's gonna go to that door that he locked on the way up here. Look like a metal door. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Run away! We are sleuthing. We are sleuthing. Dutchy. Find anything? Nothing, so. Nothing. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. 
What did you find out? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Ooh, poker. I'm good at poker. Give me back my guns. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law react. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> Change clothing. Hats. Panama hat. Don't worry about that cold weather. Ugh. Don't worry about breaking an ankle either. Okay, maybe I didn't want to drop down. fast travel back to roads. I can either go to the stranger or the tailor. Um, okay. I think, I think, I think I'm going to go to the question mark. Salty stuff. I tell you what, little Miss Romance. I was right about what was fast travel. Back to Saint Denis. Passing through. T 
talk to the stranger. Don't run anyone over. Because that just makes everything so shitty when you do. One of those people. Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say... Uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flash. <laughs> the music. We saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. We have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties. And those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger. And we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. You know, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> And even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, had an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. Oh. We must try everything. Come along. Hello. Mr. Miller, the counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Man, you're screwed. If there's oil anywhere, the U.S. government will be all about that. You ain't winning that fight. <laughs> Get me some of that freedom oil. Okay, so a couple days. Yep. 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 Don't you run away from me. Why do you keep whipping your head like that? Hey, move it. Crazy ass horse. Looks like I have to wait a couple days before I can trigger that next mission. Good thing I picked it up now. Oof. Need my horse right here. 
I need some cash because I am broke as a joke. Is that Careful. suffragist? Oh, she's gone. The suffragist lady's gone. Yes. You? Ah. 